So previously we made uh, the AI attack us. Today we're gonna make so we can actually attack them back. Let's go. First things first, let's create a folder because uh, we have to stay organized. Let's call it combat. Uh, let's add a beautiful color to it as like bluish, purplish. We're gonna have a new folder. Let's call it Notify, and another one. We're gonna call it animations because when we're gonna attack we will have animations and uh, for the animation so actually like to actually attack and so we will have notifies so we, we can actually detect when we actually hit something going into our third person so locate your third person card so in here we're gonna go to the viewport we're gonna make this simple uh, and we're gonna click on the mesh node and we're gonna add a component called static mesh so just static mesh and let's call this a uh, weapon and add the static mesh whatever weapon you want for me uh, I added the sword uh, this is completely free by the way <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go check sword out bam you can see it added the sword so now we're gonna um, and there should be pattern sockets right uh, and search for a uh, hand so hand right right here and you can see now it's kind of like wiggling uh, you can actually just click on the mesh pause animus right here and it's gonna pause the animation and now you can adjust the sword so it's in uh, out hands so you can see we have our weapon in our sword you can make it smaller the sword and so so if you compile and save it and now, uh, if you press play, you will see you have a sword with the animations that are actually paused. So uh, you should unpause them. So unpause the animation, compile, save it. Now you can see we have our sword in our hand. So it's basically we just plugged our sword in our hand. That's 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 basically it. So um, uh, we're gonna make it so we can actually attack. Uh, to, to actually do it, there's, there's a lot of ways to do it. We're gonna do it with the notify. So I imported a sword slash, so you can see, you can see a default sword slash animation. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna right click on the animation, create any montage, and that's basically it. So if you open that up, you will see uh, the animation and uh, notifies right here. So we're gonna create a notify right now. So right click. Uh, go to blueprint class. There should be notif notify, and you can see there's a lot lot of states. We're we gonna do anim notify state. Select that, and we're gonna call it attacking. We're gonna call it attacking. Uh, you can see it's kind of like empty and stuff. Uh, kind of sad. Uh, we're gonna go to function override, and you can see there's a lot of like receive notifies and stuff. We're gonna receive notify tick. So receive notify tick. So from the mesh component, we're gonna uh, get owner. So we get owner cast to the person uh, character. Connect the pin. We're gonna get weapon and just scroll down. There should be get weapon. So the weapon is uh, this weapon that we selected, uh, SM sword, and then get a socket location. So we. Uh, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna create the sockets later uh, but we're gonna get the location of it so create two of them because we will need the end and the start location so uh, from the character uh, execute get sphere uh, trace for object so this one and you will see uh, it's a line trace of course or a sphere trace uh, I call it line tracing from the first uh, socket go to start and the second is the end one uh, the radius for now let's do 50 later we're gonna uh, adjust it world uh, contest object that's the mesh component uh, draw debug for duration then after the sphere trace return value will be a branch so we are gonna check it out hit will be just break the hit so we're gonna break it and we will receive all these uh, pins we're gonna get to them later on uh, the actor to ignore is this one basically yourself and the object type uh, create no 
go to make an array and the object type will be a pawn so basically what we are doing right now we are getting the weapon mesh then we are getting the sockets of it that we're gonna create later on then we are uh, making a sphere so whenever it hits something it's going to deal damage right so we can actually kill the pawn so aka the ai what bro what are you talking about man let's create the sockets so to do it we have to go to third person character select your weapon uh, you, you will see the static mesh and just search it open that up and there should be details on socket management go to socket management click on the plus sign uh, and name it start <coughs> and another one name it end so now you have a first socket and the last one so this uh, the end will be your basically uh, the tip of the sword and the start will be where the blade is uh, started so right here. So it should look roughly like this you can save that remember the names so st uh, start and end so now we can actually make the socket names as uh, start and uh, end and now that's basically so we can actually test it out it's not gonna deal damage but we will see the tracing so go to your sword slash montage and right where it starts, where it's gonna swing right here. Write down the notify, the first one. Right click, go to add notify state. Go to attacking. And extend it till he uh, sweeps back, I guess. So, to test it out, we're gonna go to third person, go to event graph. And create, I guess, left mouse button. Yeah, it's the left one. Uh, play montage the first one play montage select your montage it's gonna be right here sword slash uh, the mesh is the skeleton mesh component compile and save it so if we play you can see it's gonna generate a big ass sphere around us uh, and it's 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 quite big. It's quite big. So let's make the radius as 15 So let's cut it out a bit So you can see now this tracing L is a little better but You can see there's uh, there's some gaps as well So to conquer the gaps there's there's different ways, but that's gonna be for another tutorial probably so uh, Make the tracing complex as well uh, make the radius to like 25 maybe and now if you swing it should make the gaps a little smaller because every time you hit um it's gonna go green so you can see it goes green but we have some bugs like for example when we move it's kind of like the legs are kind of way off so we're gonna fix it by going into outer person so going to character then mannequin and then animations you will see uh, the animation pack so the logic is in the uh, abb menu so open that up and you will see all the local motion all the scripting all that kind of stuff so right here in the anim graph right there's all these uh, something set up but what are we going to do is <laughs> I'm kind of confused what the fuck is this bullshit <laughs> layered blend per bone so we're gonna uh, take this one and you can see it's all the um, uh, saved so you can do local motion use catch pose if you don't have it but you have the state machine you can just do save catch pose and then just use it so we're gonna do this as a base pose and copy paste and we will need a default slot so we're gonna copy the default slot or you can just type default slot connect that into the local motion connect that to the blend pose zero and, and um, change the default slot to uh, upper body 
compiler server. It's not going to work right now because you have to go back to your sword slash, change the default group to slot name right here, upper body, and do layer blend per moon. So this will be the base pose right here. And the pose row will be the layer blend per moon. And uh, to actually layer them or make the upper body work, uh, you have to just click on the layer, uh, layer blend per body. So basically, what we are going to do here is uh, we're gonna blend only the upper body. So the legs will have the default animation, but the body, the upper body, will have a different animation. So they they will be like different. So click on this, click on the plus sign, open that up, and the bone bone name will be spine. 01 I think hopefully you can go check it out you can see spine 0 uh, 01 in the skeleton you can go back spine 01 copy that and paste it in the layer plant pod bone as well so it's basically uh, similar so now if we actually play and swing you can see your upper body will actually swing but I kind of don't like it because it's kind of weird. So, so you can go to upper arms right here. You can copy the name upper arm. Um, paste that in here. Upper arm L. Click again. Click another plus, another index, and upper arm right. So, these two arms will only work. So now if we play, you can see. Now it's a little better. Um, you can you can test it out yourselves how it feels uh, I, I like this one I think it's better like right here you can like them you cannot damage it so we're gonna make it so you can damage so going back to the spaghetti that we created so we're gonna create a new override of uh, receive notify begin from here we're gonna do a uh, clear uh, we're gonna create a variable called uh, damage actor this will be uh, of variable actor so search for just it should be just actor and object reference and the pin is an array so take the array do array um, do clear I'm so sorry today is not my day okay just connect that connect that bang create a new function just create a new function let's call it can damage uh, actor question mark so it's a question mark so we're gonna make it pure uh, now we're gonna do an input of in actor or no uh, input of actor so actor Make. We're gonna do the damage actor. And we're gonna do contain item. Plug that. Uh, plug this pin into the actor one. And we will need a return value. I will explain what we are actually doing. Uh, just a second. Uh, if it doesn't contain not boolean, plug that in. So basically, on the now if I begin, we're gonna clear all the damage actors. So. Everyone that we have damaged, it's gonna, it's just gonna clear, clear the records of damaged players. Okay, we, then we're gonna check, can damage actor? So does the container, aka the damage actor container, because it's an array, does it contain a, an actor? I guess does it contain an actor? If it does, if it does, if it does, it's not gonna damage. If it does not. It's gonna damage it. So, so then we can go back to our uh, event tick. We can take the can damage. You can see. Plug the actor into the heat actor. Of course, it's a branch because it's a boolean because fucking booleans. And do apply point damage. Plug that in, and the damage will be like, eh, let's do like twenty. Or actually 25, kind of had a nice one. 
Hit from direction, that's the imp I have no idea. Hit the information, click the information. Event that we don't uh, caused a hit actor normal damage. A hit hit from direction, probably the impact impact uh, point. I don't know. Uh, I just plug that into location. I have no idea. Damage actor, hit actor. Compile and save it. This is a uh, kind of nice spaghetti, not going to lie. Um, kind of love it. And after that, after the point damage, we actually have to get the damage actor, add a unique. Plug that in. And this pin will be the hit actor. So basically, we are adding. Uh, we're adding to the array that we actually hit. So, hopefully, it's understandable because uh, my English is not fucking great, okay? Now, going into our AI. So, just uh, let's just click on him. Uh, let's go edit. Oh, what the fuck is this bullcap? Point damage. So, right here, even point damage. And let's just print string it. <coughs> Uh, let's just pin thing it right here, damage, so you can actually see that we're dealing damage. So if you go up to the AI, sub bit, sh oh, you can see we're actually dealing damage. Come here, come here. Now, what are we gonna do in the enemy BP? We're gonna create a health, it's gonna be a float. We're gonna set the health right here, we're gonna set it. We're gonna do minus. So health minus uh, damage. Plug that in here. Uh, and then we're gonna have a branch. If the health is less than zero. No, if the health is less than or equal to zero. I'm so sorry. If it's true. Uh, we're gonna destroy the actor. So destroy actor. If it's false, it's gonna just print string hello. It's gonna print string the health. So if we play right now, and if we attack one of them, we kill them. Oh, the health is less than. So add the health as uh, 100 by the way. Compile and save it. So now if we play, we can actually fight back holy shit come here boy come here come here oh gosh I, I spammed it I spammed it you can see I just killed him you can see we can actually kill him and that that's that's basically it so hopefully 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 you learned something from it if you did uh, press that like you know subscribe do whatever to help the channel grow because I want to upload more, but I don't have the money to do it.